In this video to show how to install Jupyter Notebook in your Android phone. I using the Kali Net Android terminal. You do not know how to install Kali Net Android. Watch my previous video. I paste the link in my i button. Then let's start it. I open my Turbox then type ng. If any time opening Turbox, make uh, your apt update and any latest version in apt, in that command it will be updated. Then type sudo apt update. Okay. apt updated. Then type sudo apt install python space okay, python space python iphone pip then space minus y okay the python package is installed python apt is installing It's take a time in the python apt it's already installed while you make up upgrade your apt okay it's installing i skipping my video in this area Then type sudo pip3 install Jupyter Notebook. In this Jupyter notebook work using python ok I type python it's not installed then I type sudo apt install python uh, it's showing uh, how to type it ok I copy this command then paste it ok it's now installing Yes. then type python you can see the python interpreter ok then clear my terminal then type python space minus m v e n v notebook not book. It's command using to create virtual environment in Python. Okay, it's showing to install the virtual environment. Okay, I copy then paste it. It's installing now. Then 
we type this command python minus m v e n v then space notebook notebook is my virtual environment name you can choose any others name let's take some time to create it okay it's created then type source space slash notebook slash then bin slash activate the virtual environment is activated you can see my terminal then type sudo pip3 install jupyter in this case the jupyter notebook is installing type jupyter notebook jupyter notebook space minus minus help in this type this command you can see the all jupyter notebook commands okay You can see the all commands. I mean, my Sigma window. You can see the commands in clearly. Then type. I zoom it. Then type clear to clear my terminal. Okay. Then type Jupyter Notebook. Jupyter Notebook. Space minus minus generate minus config. Okay, its configuration is successfully. Then type Jupyter Notebook Password. Okay. I create a password for my Jupyter notebook. Get show into enter a password. I enter my password. I type one two three four. Okay. Password is set. then type jupyter notebook minus minus ip 
equal to 0 0.0.0.0 0 0 0 like four zeros with points in this command to run Jupyter notebook in your local server open the browser then type localhost 48 otherwise you can copy this url in this terminal i copy the url then paste it it's showing type the password I type in my password ok login wow it's working successfully ok it's done we can use multiple purpose using this Jupyter notebook like to type anything You can see the python interpreter in this Ok You can change the name of the file Ok, I change my name Ok, it's changed You can see the higher world Ok, I type in print hello world hello space world Ok, you can type without the print command use like type hello world it will be printed because it is an interpreter I type in some basic commands like I assigning two values in the two variables and print the two variables added then get the result ok it's currently working now you can see the all options in the to type menu Okay, I leave it this section you can be the test editor in this Jupyter notebook okay this is this is a Jupyter notebook it's some spelling mistake my test okay, please like and share subscribe my channel okay, I leave it you can see the another like term terminal I open it the terminal it's loaded take some time Okay, I close that above pop up notification. Okay, it's running. I type print anything. You can type it uh, like you can install any pic file using this terminal you can be used Here type python it's showing my python interpreter ok I closing my section like my running sections you can be 
shut down using this okay hope you enjoy my video please like and share and subscribe my channel if you face any issues while downloading please comment below in this video